Cheesy Peeps, and welcome back to another episode of Started From The Bottom. The road to glory team of the season is here, my friends. Happy team of the season. Seven weeks or something like that. This team of the season is scheduled to go from today, 10th of May, all the way until the 28th of June. I'll show you some kind of projected schedule in a moment, but... Before we go on to the console and see what the objectives are and stuff like that, let's have a look at the team of the seasons that they have dropped. And, of course, this is EA, my friends. So, with something good, always comes something that, you know, is bound to happen, a mistake here and there. There are some cards that you will probably end up packing that should be a blue that aren't coming out as blues. Uh, I know Sissoko is definitely one. There's people packing Sissoko all over the place. And it's just his 77 gold rare card. So I'm sure they're going to, you know, if you've packed a Sissoko after this time, I'm sure you'll be rewarded in kind. So don't freak out. Don't panic. But of course, it's EA, man. What do you, what do you expect from life? It's going to happen. So today we will have two tots going simultaneously as they do every single year they have the most consistent community tots and of course the efl tots as well now in terms of the most consistent there's some very very nice looking cards banging around we do have a 93 to and they're boosted really really well uh, we have a 93 buskets but obviously with the biscuits card you do have his 99 pace screen card floating around so that's kind of here nor there 95 ebra kind of puts his 92 flashback to shame now with 87 pace on this card it depends on what his stamina is like of course whether his stamina is still shot but that card looks absolutely phenomenal sule 90 rated center back looking beautiful that teles 94 pace, 92 defense, and 87 physicality looks absolutely fire. Alan, the most requested one that everybody wants, 85 pace, 91 physic, uh, 91 defense, 87 physicality looks fire. Philippe looks great. Carrasco looks all right. Toby, 73 pace looks pretty decent. Tiago, yeah, it's okay. Oscar, we picked Oscar as well. Oscar gets in there with 80 pace, 89 dribbling. Uh, Rodri, which I believe is going to be available via uh, weekly objective. So we're going to have a look at that in Unuma Motos. Uh, Stones gets one, 76 pace, 90 defense, 85 physicality. Matinho gets one, looks a very, very good card. This card design as well, I, I didn't like it when I first saw it, but now I've seen it with the dynamic images on it, looks absolutely fire. Uh, and then looking along, yeah. The rest look okay. Like I've said, we do get the Wamba Seeker that everybody's uh, like creaming over. 94 pace, 84 defense, 85 physicality. I don't think that's as good as what people thought it was going to be. So I, I still can't see that being people's first choice right back. But we shall see. That Umdumbele looks really, really good. Oh, no, no. What's my name? Gets one as well. And then, of course, Tagliafico rounds it up with the Sissoko. So if you do pack a rare Sissoko, don't worry, you will get rewarded in kind. Um, so we have that, and then the EFL ones, which at the time of recording, they released a lightning round, and the pack percentage was 10% to pack a team of the season card for this community and the, this EFL ones. It'll be interesting to see what happens when they release the bigger leagues, like the Premier League and stuff like that. Um, please note that Totsuzoko will be available later in the week through an SBC. Oh! Okay. Okay. Got ya. So Suzuko isn't even... Oh, so that's why people were packing the rare Suzukos in. So the people that are saying they'll get rewarded in coin didn't know what they was on about. EA have just released something saying that Tot Suzuko will actually be an SBC this week. You know, it's a little bit late for them to... Re <laughs> it's a little bit late to uh, release it. And then Onana and Rodri are available through weekly objectives. So that's cleared up then. If you're packing a gold um, to Zoko, that's why. So ignore the beginning of this video. Shambles. Why not release that straight away, that information straight away? Or at least put it on your graphic, man. Just, oh, just this company, man. This company. Um, right, so the EFL. There isn't a single card there really that kind of, you know, makes me think fantastic. Collins gets a tot, which is exactly the same as his player of the year card. So obviously we can kind of decipher that Van Dyke's will be the same as his player of the year card. 
Um, Cooper, Walker, Mopai gets one. That's brilliant. Um, he's done really, really well for Brentford this season. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. And Aaron's, of course, he gets exactly the same card that we've already got free sitting in the club. So let's go and have a look on the console and see where we are in terms of um, things that we need to work towards this week. So we know that we've got a Tot Suzuko SBC coming. In terms of also SBCs, they've only released one so far, uh, and that is for an all right card. I'm, I'm not going to be doing it. The fact it's a Tots Moments as well, it is, yeah, just, it is what it is, man. That's it. So that, that's not really exciting in terms of SBCs. Nothing else of note in terms of SBCs, in terms of what we can do today and release day, because today is all about trying to get your money from um, packs and stuff like that. But we do have some decent weekly objectives. So score six, um, six rivals win, score with Spanish players in six of those to earn a tots, a tots Rodri. That should be pretty straightforward if you've got a decent enough uh, Spanish player. Assist eight goals using Eredivisie players. Uh, professional on um, minimum professional so obviously that squad battles that's pretty good scoring four separate matches using efl league one players to get tots taylor so again I'm, I'm sure you can do that in squad battles a kit a kit a kit and two more one two three more three more swap deals players and then win six online matches using only silvers to earn a 50k pack not the most exciting weekly objectives to kick off totsy from being honest but overall, you know, what can you expect? Oh, you know, it's a good start for it, but at the moment it's not majorly, majorly exciting. Some of the cards are great, but we're still, we're just going to hold off. We are going to hold off with some of the packs that we've got, because honestly, none of them really float my boat. I quite like the look of that flashback Ebra, um, sorry, the Tots Ebra, because it's a little bit better than the flashback, but not enough to you know, make me want to go and open packs. And as you will see, before we go, our coin balance is up to 147. And that is because, if you haven't yet, sell your Celtic players. But they might go down a little bit. They might go down a little bit at the moment because obviously the lightning rounds. But Celtic, Rangers, oh, they're just going for an absolute mint, man. Um, and then on top of the Liverpool and stuff players that we've sold along the way as well, just look at the players required for this week's marquee matchups. You can see that the Feyenoord um, and the other team, the other Dutch team, are needed as well. Celtic players, 9,800 coins for a non-rare gold. We will take that all day long, man. Beautiful, beautiful. We're really close to 1.5. So what I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to chuck some of that extra profit into completing some of the SBCs, league SBCs that need you know we need to spend some money on while there's lightning rounds hopefully we might get some of the cards a little bit cheaper so we'll probably go down from that coin balance now while i can just try and get some more packs into the club Whew. so let's have a little bit of a roundup if you have celtic or rangers players sell them simple as that if you have scottish players gold scottish players they're going for around about two to three thousand coins so if you don't mind getting rid of those, get rid of those as well. We have EFL Tots has dropped with a couple of all right cards in there. I'd say none of those were going to get in my team anyway. Um, and, you know, they're all right. If you can pick up some of those for close to this card, if it's the same as last year, floating around about 20,000 coins, do so because they might be needed for a repeatable SBC. And looking at the state of the cards, I don't think there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be using these in teams and stuff like that. So if you can get some for around about this card, pick some up. And then onto the actual uh, main community tots. We've got a few cards in there that look absolutely fantastic. I like the look of Ibra. I like the look of Testagan. I like the look of Alan. I like the look of Teles. Um... And that's possibly it. Wambasika, possibly. Undombele, possibly. But I wouldn't say it's enough for me to make me want to open my packs. And then as we go on to the weekly objectives, as I said, it's pretty straightforward. Have a look at um, have a look at some of the uh, discard 
Spanish players and stuff like that that have got decent um, like speed, decent shooting because a lot of people might just try and be like picking those up to do this one here. So if you see some decent Spanish players that have got good pace, good shooting and they're pretty good to close to discard, people might not necessarily be doing this objective now but they should shoot up in price. That's the trend that's happened every week so far. So that is it then. Team of the season is here. Pretty decent. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like the community touch? Do you like the EFL touch? Do you like the weekly objectives? Let me know in the comments section below. But Tots is here, my friends. But we are out of here. So thanks for watching. Catch you in a bit.